Alex, let me ask you a question. A few years ago, how hyped were you to draft Mike Gillisley or LeGarrette Blunt? These New England goal line running backs. These big boys. They're able to take, <laughs> take it in on the goal line. 220 plus pounds. Essentially, we got the new version of that. Drafted in the fourth round by New England. Very uncharacteristic of Bill Belichick to go out and actually draft a running back. But Ramondre Stevenson, coming out of Oklahoma, played in junior college for two years before relegating Trey Sermon to a backup role. At 5'11", 231 pounds, are you excited for, for Stevenson at all? I mean, first of all, we got to give credit where it's due. LeGarrett had his time in the sun, had that NFL leading 18, 18 touchdown 18 season. Touchdown. Mike Gillisley, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure he had a three touchdown game for the New England Patriots. So before I say anything about Ramondre Stevenson, I just have to say, although I absolutely despise his prospect profile, I'm not Ooh. saying it's impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. We've seen these big boy backs for big Bill Belichick say that 10 <laughs> times fast, do it in the past for doing against all odds. So Ramondre, if you're listening, I hope you show out, man. I hope you absolutely crush it. But look, I mean, this guy, round four pick. That's already that's already a bad start. Already a red flag, but he's big. He's unathletic, 5'11", 231. He just crams into the offensive line. But honestly, like, if he was to get opportunity in New England, who knows? But I'll get into that. Ramondre in a 4'6", 40-yard dash at his pro day. So not great, but honestly, that's like David Montgomery, Ronald Jones range. So it's not a death sentence for an NFL running back. The more concerning thing is his agility. You know, David Montgomery and Ronald Jones are fairly shifty with that slower speed. But Ramondre Stevenson has an 11th percentile burst score per player uh, profile, which takes some of those agility metrics into consideration. His center uh, at Oklahoma was Creed Humphrey. And Creed Humphrey was drafted in round two this season, an offensive lineman. And Creed Humphrey had a better 20-yard shuttle three cone drill, broad jump and vertical than Ramondre Stevenson. Oh, His own man. offensive lineman <laughs> had better agility testing metrics at their pro day than Ramondre Stevenson. So he he as, just doesn't have the juice for these these breakaway long runs. He can't get past the second level. He can't. And he's already 23 years old. He's the same age as Josh Jacobs. But, but having said all this, it sounds like I hate Ramondre Stevenson, but I really don't. You look at the Pats running backs right now in the current situation, who knows? There could be opportunity. You said it. We've seen it with LeGarrette Blunt. We've seen it with Mike Gillsley. We've seen it with Jonas Gray, for crying out loud, in New England. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. And James White, he's on a one-year deal. He's 29 years old. Rex Burkhead, he's on a one-year deal. He's 30 years old. Sony Michelle had his fifth year option declined. He's in a contract year. He will not be back next season. He might get cut before the season. So really all you're looking at in terms of competition for carries is going to be Damian Harris past 2021. And he has two years left on his rookie deal, but he was a third round pick himself. And in two seasons, he only has 703 yards and two touchdowns. So I'm not betting on Ramondre Stevenson, but he's an interesting name to keep an eye on because if for whatever reason Damian Harris misses some time and this cluttered New England backfield starts to clear out a little bit, man, Ramondre Stevenson, if he gets 10, 12, 14 carries a game, even if he's just cramming into the offensive line and he can score some touchdowns in this offense, he could have he could have his time in the sun as well uh, up there in New England. <laughs> Stop! Stop trying to sell me on Ramondre Stevenson. He's I'm not. he's a hulking <laughs> he's a hulking mass on the field. He's definitely going to be used as a north and south runner, a goal line back. He can be okay in the passing game. The fourth yeah. round draft capital already put Stevenson on shaky ground, and then we can try to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he doesn't have the proven college production of a Kenny Gainwell or a Chuba Hubbard. He doesn't jump off the screen. You look at his athletic measurables like A.J. Dillon last year, Elijah Mitchell this year, these late-round running backs that have some juice, have some burst, have some impressive athletic measurables that we can latch on to. You already mentioned the icing on the cake. He's older than 23 years old. He's a year away from being a dynasty sell. So 
if you want any value mm. for Stevenson, you hope that he's a monster in year one. He's already going to compete with the other backs you named, Damian Harris, Sonny Michelle, James White. And we know this offense is not going to score 18 touchdowns with run, one running back. This is not a Tom Brady-led offense. New England ran the most run plays per game in 2020. But you still have Cam Newton, who's going to start until the wheels fall off. Cam took 43% of red zone rushing attempts in 2020. So half the time when they get into the red zone, it's Cam Newton running it in. Then you get a rookie quarterback who may come in. He'll probably have some growing pains. This offense was bottom six in points per game last year. And I don't expect any dramatic improvements unless Mac Jones comes out, takes this team to new heights with a lackluster weapons group. Yeah, they got two tight ends. They brought in a free agency, but that's not going to, to be a world beater for them. Outside of that, you got Nelson Aguilar, Jacoby Myers, Kendrick Bourne, Nikhil Harry, just just gross names. If I'm in a rookie draft, I'm not even wasting a pick on Ramon J. Stevenson. I'll, I'll just say it. I'm not wasting a pick. Give me JV and Hawkins. Give me Chris Evans. Give me Garrett Oaks. Garrett Oaks, my favorite Pokemon. Give me Garrett <laughs> Oaks over Ramon J. Stevenson in these rookie drafts. <laughs>